Fourth chapter of Human Resource Management is about performance appraisal. In this session, let's discuss the introductory aspect of performance appraisal. Every organization, there is a need to understand the abilities of the employees to perform and grow. Performance appraisal acts as a tool to check the development opportunities of the employees. It is a systematic evaluation of the work performed by the employees. Once they have been selected, trained, and motivated, employees are appraised for its performance. So therefore, performance appraisal is a step where the management finds out how effective it has been in both hiring and placing its employees. Therefore, performance appraisal is an evaluation of the performance of an employee against the job standards in terms of both qualitative and quantitative and also behavioral aspects of an employee at the workplace. A successful performance appraisal process involves explaining the job, communicating expectations, observing and documenting behavior and providing frequent informal feedback. Appraisal is the step where the management finds out how effective it has been at both hiring and placing its employees. The definition of performance appraisal, it is a process of evaluating an employee's job and performance in terms of its requirements. The definition of performance appraisal, it is a process of evaluating individual job performance as a basis for making objective human resource or personnel decisions. The primary objective is to motivate employees to adapt and maintain behavior, which leads to expected performance in an organization. Let's move on to understand the features or characteristics of performance appraisal. It is a step-by-step -step process. It examines employees three areas strengths, weaknesses, and their potential for growth. It is scientific as well as objective. It is an ongoing and continuous process. It secures information for taking correct decisions relating to employees. It examines the human resource potentiality in the organization in both micro, meso, trivial, and macro levels. So these are the characteristics of performance appraisal. What are the objectives? Initially, what we discussed is the primary objective. So what are the other objectives? It is to provide feedback to its employees, to understand the strengths and weaknesses, to provide wherever required counseling and coaching to its staff, to develop a positive superior subordinate relationships, to help in research, to understand the overall effectiveness of recruitment, and to provide a valid database for HR. Other objectives, to determine the effectiveness of employees relating to their present job and to decide their future benefits, to identify if there are any shortcomings of employees so as to overcome them through systematic guidance and training and to find out their potential for both promotion and advancements. So these are the objectives of appraisal. What are the reasons of performance appraisal or why they are conducted? What are the benefits? It's both for employers as well as employees. Let's first discuss the benefit of performance appraisal to the employees. It helps to improve relationship, that is employee relations and productivity. It serves as an effective retention tool. It provides a paper trial for addressing performance and disciplinary problems. It demonstrates organization's commitment to employee success. It helps to provide valuable feedback for managers. What are the benefits to its employees? Performance feedback is needed and desired. Improvement in performance requires assessment. Fairness required the differences in performance levels across workers 
we measure and have an effect on its outcomes. Assessment and recognition of performance levels can motivate employees to improve their performance and contribute towards the organization. There are a few limitations or drawbacks. First and foremost, the method adopted are unreliable. If an employee is well known to an employer, the appraisal may not be correct. The inability of supervision to appraise an employee does not bring out the accurate performance appraisal. Some qualities of an employee cannot be easily appraised through any methods of appraisal. A supervisor may appraise an employee to be good to avoid incurring his displeasure. Uniform standards are not followed by the supervisors in the performance appraisal. So we are done with the introductory aspect, meaning, definition, features, objectives, as well as benefits from both employer and employee perspective. And we have discussed the limitations of performance appraisal.